Hey guys, Zerox here, and I just figured I would make a brief tutorial on how to actually set up your folder or your container for all of my MindFlow scripts I will be posting tutorials for in the coming weeks. And so we're just gonna jump straight into it. Now for this and for all of these scripts, you will be needing node.js. It is a JavaScript framework. I will include a link to where you can download that down in the description. And to verify that you have properly set it up, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your terminal and you're gonna type node space dash dash version, okay? And when you press enter, it will, it should return the version of Node.js that you currently have installed. If it does not do this, then you have not properly installed Node. I can't really help you. It's a really simple install. Just try and figure it out the best you can. If you really need help, if you're really struggling, then feel free to join the Discord and ask for help there. But you honestly, if you're gonna be using any of these scripts, you should be able to at least install Node by yourself. Now that you've done that, we have Node. We have the one requirement to get started with uh, setting up this container. There are two main commands that we need to use, and then many more depending on what script you're planning on using. Um, once again, all these are on the GitHub. I'll also include a GitHub link down in the description. So you can see all of these bots. So if you're just looking for these bots, um, just go on that GitHub link and you'll find a link to all these bots. You can just download whichever ones, um, but you will have to do this before you use any of those scripts. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna type npm space init. Now, if I press enter on this, it will have uh, or provide me with a bunch of questions, a bunch of information that it wants from me, like the name of the project and all sorts of stuff, the version, um, the description, the authors, all this stuff. We can skip that very easily by adding a dash Y. Okay, if you do dash Y, it'll autofill everything for you. I'm not gonna do this just in case anybody wants to put in this information. I'll show you guys what happens if you don't put the dash Y. So if we don't put the dash Y, we'll press enter here. And what you'll see is that there's a bit of uh, feedback. And then it asks here for a package name. Now you'll see here that there are parentheses and there's something within this. This is the default value if you don't provide anything. So if I just press enter here without putting anything in, it'll name the project bot-setup because this is the name of my folder. We can alternatively put a name here, just know that whatever name you put here can't be the same as any reserved namespace. So don't name it Mindflare because if you're planning on using Mindflare and you name your package name Mindflare, you'll have some issues. Uh, I actually was on stream and I tried doing that uh, because I wasn't really thinking too much. Um, uh, my autopilot brain made that mistake and it, it causes you not to be able to run any of your scripts, unfortunately. So I'm just gonna press enter and go through and then ask for version. Default version is 1.0.0. Continue, ask for description, entry point, test command, git, keywords, authors, license, etc. At the very bottom, it'll show you what it's actually, the, the object that's actually created using your information. And then it asks, is this good? Is this okay? And by default it's yes, so we're just gonna type enter for yes. And we've now uh, initialized our, um, our node project. We're not done yet. There's one more command that you will need to run any of my scripts, potentially more depending on what script you're running. Now I'm gonna do the handy command CLS to clear my screen or clear my terminal. And uh, the thing that we wanna use here is npm space, and then you give two options here. We can either write install for full form, or you can just do I, which is a keyword for the word install. So npm I, and then the name of a library. So the library that is used in every single one of my scripts at the very minimum is Mindflare, because we're making Mindflare scripts. So you're gonna type Mindflare here, you're gonna press enter, and it's gonna go ahead and download the Mindflare library and toss it into your, um, uh, your container essentially, so that when you're in your scripts and trying to use it, I can just call it locally, I believe. It's do, uh, doing all that, and you'll see when it's done, you get all this um, stuff. Now, you're not quite done yet, depending on what bot you're using. If you're using one of my earlier bots, for example, my simple bot, this is the first one, this is episode one. And uh, if you're using this, you can see at the top, there's only one required library. You should be good to go. You can just click and drag this file into that container and you can run it and you're good to go. However, some of my future scripts, in particular, I believe starting at my chat bot and moving up, 
there are uh, multiple libraries. So here you can see I also use chalk, which is used for coloring or sending color, uh, colored text in uh, the terminal. So you'll also need to npm install chalk as well, okay? You'll need to do this for every single library that you do use in whatever script you're planning on using. So just to know that if it's not working, it's saying it doesn't know where chalk is, it's because you forgot to install it. And just to show you how to do that, uh, once again, so I'm going to go down here. Let's say I wanted to use this color bot, um, dot .mjs. Once again, mjs, same thing as js, basically. Um, think of it as just js, but better. I, I, I don't really know the difference, but uh, people in my stream chat would just tell me it's better and it's required if using chalk. But uh, we don't, you don't have to install that. That just comes by default. You just change the file extension. Um, but let's say we want to use chalk. Same thing, npm, i, or install. I'll show you here using install. Um, chalk, press enter, and it'll install chalk for you. And so, like I said, if you go and you find a bot that I made sometime in the future after making this video, and there's like 10 things up in the library, if you find some other third-party bot that has like 10 things up here, uh, one, if you, there's like 10 things, there are probably a few of them are maybe redundant, but who knows? You're going to look for the big names. Um, so if they're importing multiple things from the same library, you only have to import the library name. So here I don't, if I imported like 10 different things from chalk, you only have to import chalk or install chalk, I should say. Um, so on MJS, this is the format. It looks a little Python-like, uh, but it's like reversed. And Python is like from X, import Y. Here's import Y from X um, or import X from Y. And here, if you look in there's just a .js, it looks a little different. But uh, fear not, you're just looking for the uh, the words here. So if it's an MJS, you're looking for these words in blue. And if it's just a normal JS, then you're working, looking for this word in blue. That's after cons. Anyways, thank you very much for watching this. If you found it helpful in any way, feel free to like. It helps me out and it helps other people find my videos. And if you are planning on using uh, some any of my tutorial videos, whether it's Mindflare or not Mindflare, in the future, make sure you subscribe. And not only does it help me out because it helps other people find my content, but it helps you out because it helps you find my content that might, uh, you might actually want to use. So uh, it's a little mutually beneficial uh, for both ways there. Anyways, I've got nothing left for you. Thank you very much for watching. Peace.